gastroesophageal reflux disease is a very common condition uh, that we see. It's, uh, it includes heartburn. Uh, it's basically acid uh, going from the stomach to the esophagus. Acid should be staying in the es uh, stomach and not the esophagus. So that causes a range of symptoms including heartburn. Some patients even complain of chest pain. Proton pump inhibitors are medications that help to reduce acid in the stomach and thereby uh, helping reduce the exposure of the food pipe, which I call food pipes, the esophagus, uh, to acid uh, and uh, prevent heartburn and uh, re regurgitation or what we call gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, proton pump inhibitors are, are pretty safe. They've been around the market for decades now in one shape or form. So they're the uh, most uh, potent medications that we have to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease. And I try to tell patients uh, to uh, take a drug holiday as needed if they need to, uh, but they're very effective. So uh, the American Cancer Society came up with the recommendation that everybody should get screened for colon cancer starting at age 45. And that's been supported by many other major societies, including our gastroenterology societies. So 45 is the new age uh, to screen across the board, uh, except for those patients that have uh, increased risk, uh, risk for colon cancer and that includes uh, patients with family members and uh, or patients that have familial history of colon cancer syndromes. Uh, in that case, that's uh, discussed on a case-by-case -case basis. Patients, we do recommend that they follow um, a certain dietary plan for their IBS symptoms. And one of the most uh, common dietary plan that we do recommend is called a low FODMAP diet. It's a mouthful for a uh, fermentable oligo, dye, monosaccharides, and polyols. It's basically some sugars that we don't break down as well and that are broken down by bacteria in the intestine and cause all of these symptoms. So that may mean uh, avoiding beans for a while, avoiding avocado, uh, legs, some legumes, uh, uh, watermelon, um, especially artificial sweeteners too. We do say uh, to avoid those foods uh, that are high in those substances for about eight weeks and then uh, reintroduce, starting obviously by what they love eating best and then uh, introducing it until they find out what uh, they're sensitive to. Mm -hmm.